the News 8 Storm Team forecast with meteorologist Ethan Houston. And if the skies stay clear off to the east, we will have a chance once again to see that launch. More on that in just a minute. Taking a live look over Harrisburg right now, the stubborn cloud deck is finally starting to break over the capital city. You can see here on the sky cam the shadows of the building. So sunshine filtering in now through the clouds, and that's allowing temperatures to warm up into the lower 60s at the lunch hour. Winds around the south southeast at five. That cloud deck is really paying or playing rather a big part on the temperatures where it has been sunny through the morning hours. Look at the temperatures now in Gettysburg. You are at 75 degrees. Chambersburg, you're at 73. But off to the east, the clouds have been thicker. Lancaster is at 61. If you're watching us at 11, you are only sitting at 64. So the clouds will continue to be in an on and off fashion through the day today, patchwork of that. But I do expect more sunshine than clouds through the afternoon for much of the area. And that's going to warm us back up into the 70s as the warm front continues to lift over the Commonwealth before the cold front and rain out ahead of it arrives late overnight tonight. So here is your News 8 Storm Team forecast. Quite a range in temperatures. Mid 70s for areas that saw sun through the mid morning, closer to 70 degrees for areas that have fairly Thick cloud cover right now. It'll be breezy during the afternoon with winds out of the southwest. Overnight tonight, the clouds will thicken up. We'll see a few passing showers very late, and they'll be around in the scattered variety through the mid morning, uh, through the morning rush hour. Then we'll start to get some breaks in the clouds later in the afternoon. It'll still be warm though, with highs in the mid to upper 60s. So let me step out of the way here for a second. Wallops Island is where the rocket will be taking off. It'll be carrying in 5,000 pounds of cargo to the International Space Station. We got about one to two minutes after the launch. This is our chance to see it. Anywhere from about 624 to 626. Again, cross your fingers. If we can get some breaks in the clouds off to the east, we'll have a decent chance of seeing that. So it is just going to be a wait and see if we have decent visibility later this evening. It's 68 right now in Washington, D.C., and 76 in Raleigh, but notice back off to the west. We're dropping in the 50s in Chicago. So the front has moved through off to our west. So the warm front lifts over us. Enjoy that brief warm up. Then the cold front moves on in with the rain, and then another shot of cooler air will come in just in time for Halloween. So the front moves on through. Here's we are at six o'clock, still dry during the evening hours. Then right around midnight, we'll start to see some passing showers arrive to our western county. So if you're watching us in Mifflin and Juniata County, you may see an isolated shower. Cold front will then continue its trek down to the southeast. We'll have the chance for a few isolated scattered showers through the morning drive. And then drier air will build in from the west, and that will clear out the clouds through the evening tomorrow. Thursday will be cooler. Highs only expected to be in the mid to upper 50s, but we continue our downward trend heading on into Halloween. But if you have parades or a trick or treating event later tonight, temperatures look nice. They'll be in the upper 60s and dropping in the mid 60s toward the end of the event. But look at the temperature trend over the next couple of days. 70s today, 60s tomorrow, 50s on Thursday, down into the 40s by the time we reach the weekend. Right now, again, if you're trick or treating on Friday night on actual Halloween, it looks like it's going to be dry, but towards the end of that trick or treating, we may see some showers, could see some rain lingering into the weekend, also could see some flurries mixing with some mm. of that rain, too, on Saturday. How about that? What a yeah. change. <laughs> I'll say, never like to put anything over your costume, right. though. All right. Thanks, Ethan.